Well, it is the Astro sweater Kate Upton made famous. A supermodel wore it during the playoffs last year, and when fans saw it, of course, they just had to have it. But get a load of this. Upton was not the first person to actually wear it. Channel 2's Rachel McNeil tonight with how the sweater emerged from the glory days of the Astrodome and landed in the closets of Houston's most fashionable fans. All right. <laughs> when Justin Verlander brought his legendary pitching arm to Houston, he also brought her. Kate Upton, supermodel, super fan, and super trendsetter. Fans look to him for wins. Verlander strikes out the side. And to her for fashion. Game 7 of the 2017 ALCS was a game changer. Not only did the Astros advance to the World Series, but Kate hit a home run with the sweater. From that point on, it was a must-have. I guess I can kind of look like Kate Upton, maybe, at least attempt to. Fans looked everywhere for the sweater, and those who found it wear it like a badge of honor. She had to have it. But it's more than just a trendy fashion statement. It's a part of Astro's history. The sweater was an addition to the uniform from the late 70s and into the 80s. It wasn't about fashion, it was about function, designed to keep players like Astro's legend Art Howe warm in the chilly Astrodome. It was a little cool in there because of the air conditioning units. In center field, there was double bank air conditioning units blowing straight in. Astro's historian Mike Acosta says the sweater played an important role, especially for pitchers. There's been a lot of pictures of Nolan Ryan wearing it, from, you know, primarily because he's a pitcher and, and guys like to keep their, their arms warm. A uniform piece born out of necessity, now a wardrobe staple for fans. So how did it get from the Astrodome to here? Well, that's been a secret very few people have known until now. I'm a major league scout for the Philadelphia Phillies. I worked for the Houston Astros initially from 1970. Gordon Lakey, a baseball legend, learned about the sweater's recent resurgence and decided it was time to reveal what he's known for decades. I knew the true story behind the sweater and she was getting all the credit for the sweater. Lakey has an original, his name stitched into the inside. I was given this sweater, and, you know, just kept it ever since. In the early 90s, he told a friend about it. That friend happened to work for a sports clothing company called Mitchell and Ness. She asked me about some ideas, and I told her I had this sweater. I sent it to her, and she reproduced it. That was over 20 years ago, and while Mitchell and Ness did sell some during that time, Lakey acknowledges the Kate Upton factor helped. I don't know why I didn't sell initially very well. It took this last year for it to take off. Without Lakey, the sweater probably never would have made it to Mrs. Verlander or to your closet, but he refuses to take any credit. It obviously has become a positive, positive thing for the Astros, and that's fine. I, I don't need the credit for it. Now you know the sweater's historical significance, but there's still one question to ask. Who wore it better, Kate Upton or Nolan Ryan? Nolan Ryan. He won more games. Kate Upton. Uh, I think Kate Upton. <laughs> Noli didn't look too good in anything. <laughs> It's been almost exactly a year since Kate Upton first wore the sweater, and still to this day, it barely stays in stock. We've tracked down a few places that have a limited supply. You can find that list on click2houston.com. Rachel McNeil, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.